everybody, and welcome to Stray Cat Crossing. This is a very interesting little indie horror game that has just popped up on Steam. And when I say just popped up, I mean it literally just came out. Um, it looks very interesting, and after watching the trailer and seeing some of the animations that this guy's created, um, I mean, the, the, or these people have created, it looks amazing. So we're going to jump right into a brand new game. Uh, if I can actually get it uh, there. We go. All right, let's go into a new game. Now, as you can say, as you can see, it looks like it's kind of made in RPG Maker, which isn't a terrible thing. So, and I like the art style. It's a lot different from a lot of stuff. Hey, are you okay? What's wrong? Are you lost? I'm scared. I want to go home. It is pretty late. Do you know where your house is? Yes. It's that way. I can take you home if you want. Don't you want to go home? Okay. Alright, so I'm just a nice person helping out a little girl. Hmm? What's wrong? cold oh here take my scarf better too tight oh sorry it's okay it wasn't your fault it wasn't your fault here let me fix it for you okay I don't know what that green text was better warm great by the way what's your name cat nice to meet you cat let's take you home so you don't even say your own name what the hell is that all about what's your name cat oh my name is just random red haired girl alright that music is creepy as shit I like it though like I said I really like the like the palette that this guy's got making this game like the colors are very interesting Jerlo and Jetpack Gone. That's an interesting couple of names, too. I love the way the cars look. I don't know why, but when I was looking at the trailer, when I saw the cars, I was like, that's awesome. Ah, I think I'm in for a good one. I think this is going to be one of those really, really good indie horror games. And I am so glad that I got I picked this up. It's only $2.99 on Steam. So if you guys really want to pick this up, you guys should. It's, it's going to be good. I can already tell. Is this your house? Yes, here is fine. Are you sure? Yes. Well then, take care, cat. Goodbye. All right, I mean, she seemed really sure of herself that that was her house. Um, thank you. Hey, wait, my scarf can't lose that scarf why would you go after a scarf and okay let's let's go after the scarf hello hmm the door is open I guess we should enter I mean even though that's probably not a good thing and all of my senses are saying don't do that cat all right so we're in cat's house what the who's that P picture hold st still oh, okay so that's my save some weird little girl boy thing on the ground okay kind of creepy but mesmerizing complete poems of Emily Dickinson I've heard of her I have as well the yellow wallpaper. That sounds familiar. A red seat. The felt is so warm. A blue sofa. It's seen better days. Alright, so literally everything I click on is going to have some sort of something. What's this? Hmm, it's locked. Alright, so we can't really go in there. Cat must have went this way. Could I go in here? Ooh. Is this the bathroom? I kind of figured. The mirror is so dirty, I can't see my reflection. 
Wipe off the mirror and see what happens. The soundtrack. The soundtrack's really well done, too. Just a kitchen stool. Oh, is this the kitchen? Actually, couldn't quite tell. Alright, so it looks like she went downstairs, so let's go downstairs. I don't like that. When it changes like that, that's always a bad sign. Okay, we're in the basement, and that looks freaky as hell. Cat, are you in here? It's locked. All right, so now we're locked in the basement. What the? Look! Look at the hag! Look what the cat dragged in! A guest! A guest! We must look our best! We never had a guest before. Ah, Cypher Sore Eyes, isn't it? That's a sore lie, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Hee <laughs> hee! Whoa, who are you? Don't be so innocent, hee <laughs> hee! Hear that? Hear that? Weird, that. Well, she never met us, did she? Did she? Did she? Precious, isn't she? Uh, have you seen a little girl around? Little girl? Little girl? Aren't you a little girl? Alright, that's creepy as shit. I'd like to leave, please. She'd like to leave? To leave? The nerve! The pee! The weed grave! Uh, is, is there a way out? Out, yes. Out, yes! A favor! I declare a favor. A favor? Honor the favor and she can leave. The nap, the pee. That is creepy as shit. Okay, what is the favor? A favor, she asks. Please, miss, it's not a hard task. This stupid useless ring. Oh my god. Well, I can't read all that. Okay, there we go. This stupid, useless, wrinkly, stinkly, pea brain, spud faced, fly ridden, flea bitten, st slop smelling, dung dwelling, pu uh, putrescent, pustulous pile of mutt here. Can you tell me its name? Here, here! Then you can leave. Leave us behind! How unkind! Uh. What? An old-fashioned bicycle. It looks uncomfortable. Okay. There's another one over here. She said the same thing. Okay, there's so there's old-fashioned bicycles everywhere. Huh, what do you want? Alright. Oh. Oh no, I I don't know its name. Not yet. Now shoot, move along. All right, well, what's its name then? Oh, Jesus. A dog, I think. Uh, can we? Um. Dog? Wrong, 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 wrong. Now shoot, move along. Um, how am I supposed to know the name of this thing? An ice sculpture of a swan. It's beautiful. Just a sinking mirror. Okay, what is it then? A dog, I think. I mean... That doesn't really look like a dog. Uh, I, I, can I try to leave? What? It's locked. Okay, well I already knew that. Okay, so what what is its name? Well, I don't know. How the hell would I know its name? That doesn't even make sense. Um. Hey, uh, Todd. Um. Can I go with cat and see if that's it? Wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, well, I mean, I, how am I supposed to know the thing's name? 
I mean, I, 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 is it a dog? Is that what I'm supposed to type? A. Oh, I can't put a space, so. So now I've already messed that up. A dog. I, I, I really, I really would like to, uh, is it mud by any chance? All right, I would like a clue. May I please have a clue, you spinny-faced weirdos? <laughs> because there's no way that I'm going to know that. Oh, wait, okay, what's this? Pin, picture, still. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and we'll save it. And then we'll go through this door. Maybe this will help us. Because I don't have a freaking clue what that would be. Oh, okay. Well, this just got weird. A dead bird hangs over the crib. A planet model hangs over the crib. A plane model hangs over the crib. A beaker containing a green chemical. Alright, what's this book? It's an old diary. Read entry. May 18, 1912. To be honest, I find their back garden as terrifying as it is fascinating. Creatures that look there can only be described as cunning and monstrous. And yet, the plants that take root there, I never could have dreamed of them. The flora seemed ordinary, but their properties are, I dare say, magical. For example, the extract of rose emanates warmth even in the coldest conditions. The rest is scribbled out. Okay, so the extract of rose. A horned sheep skull hanging over the fireplace. Its mouth is chained and locked shut. A blanket hung on the wall. It has yellow ducks on it. A blanket hung on the wall. It has pink rabbits on it. Okay. Bird cage without a bird. Okay, so I've got a dead bird hangs over the crib. A planet model hangs over the crib. And a plane model hangs over the crib. And an entry that says something about roses. I don't know how that's going to actually help me. Um, is it a baby? Uh, I mean, I can go with Rose, but that's kind of strange that it would be called Rose. I have no idea what this thing is. How am I supposed to know the name of this stupid bird? Or stupid thing. I wish I could get past the swan, because there's another door over there. But see, that that this room down here didn't really help me out too much. Because, I mean, the, the diary entry I thought was going to be like, okay, well, here's a name, but... Uh, Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. This is kind of difficult for me to figure out. I mean, I could sit here and try all day, but I think I'll probably just go ahead and call it here. And then hopefully in the next video, once I figure out what the hell this thing's name is, I will start from there. But anyway, hopefully you guys are enjoying Stray Cat Crossing. Remember to hit that like button, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye, everybody. What's that? You like that? You want more? Click in the upper left to subscribe and check out Killing Floor. Okay. <laughs> also, check us out on Google Plus and Twitter for all the new updates for the channel, and then check out Rogue Shooter. There we go. Kick him. Kick him to death. I just kicked a robot to death, everybody.